Kenya has embarked on a national wide wildlife census to document the country's wildlife population and their habitat. Wildlife and Tourism Cabinet Secretary Alfred Mutue says the data obtained will be key in guiding future conservation and management of wildlife resources to minimize human wildlife conflict. The government has earmarked over 200 million shillings for a second nationwide wildlife census, which is set to conclude in June 2025. The funds allocated will help support advanced methodologies including satellite imagery, GPS tracking and drone surveys. This team will not only be looking for wildlife, they will be looking for any illegal activity going on. They will georeference and produce them in maps that will produce, produce at the end of the exercise. This data is critical for us in our planning and in whatever we need to do. We are, we are using to use the data to identify important wildlife areas and also it will also guide us in establishing conservancies. Inform protected areas and ecosystems, uh, wide management plans and also it will help us in our reviewing our wildlife strategy and the current review of Wildlife Act. During the launch in Nairo County, Mutua noted that the National Wildlife Census 2024 will be key conservation agenda, setting the country on the global stage as local leaders expressed optimism on strides made in wildlife conservation and community involvement. We want to know their location. We also want to know their behavior, whether we are reducing or increasing the numbers. We are experiencing serious human order conflict across the landscape. So as we count these animals, we're bringing information on the table to be able to support government and be able to guide us into the resources that we can be able to tap. This comes three years after the first ever National Wildlife Census, which revealed a 5% steady growth in elephant population to 36,280, from a low of 20,000 in 1989 due to poaching. Trevor Nendo for Prime Edition.